there morning folks it's me again happy march to everyone it is march the first today and it's a monday so a nice clean start to the month uh, i'll be kicking off this month with quite a large roof clean on this lovely property i will uh turn the camera around and sort of show you the access around the property right then so this is what we're working with today as you can see quite a big one the um the access is all pretty sound to be honest um my tower is actually getting delivered tomorrow which is not ideal um, so what I'm going to have to do today is just crack on with some of these easy sections so I'll get sort of all this done all around there. Um, what I might do is quickly get the ladders up and get sort of around this section here um, because the access there isn't that great and I don't really want to be ruining the grass um, and mucking around with boards. So some ladders up here somewhere, I'll get a few of those sections uh, nice and easy. And then tomorrow the tower will sit nicely there so I can get that section and all of that section. I will uh, take you around the back now and sort of show you what we're working with there. It's quite straightforward, apart from the side passage, um, which is going to have to be done off ladders as well, because I'll show you now. Let me get through here. Yeah, I'm not fitting a tower down this one either, so yeah, a bit of a pain. Um, but obviously, ladders up here to get this lower back side of the garage roof. Now, I haven't double-checked this, but what I'm hoping is ladders there going up over this to there to get that section and maybe a bit of that as well um, but I'll just have to see I've got some standoffs which will push me out so hopefully I won't be clipping this gutter um, but if I am then I will have to I'll find out today anyway I'll have to come back tomorrow bring the roof ladders with me and get on the garage roof um, from the garage roof get onto that roof there um, which isn't too much of a big deal it's quite nice and uh, simple to get up to uh, around here we've got this little sort of conservatory extension type thing going on with a roof on it to clean uh, which is all good and then yeah so this is the back so sort of jacuzzi there so that's going to be a bit awkward so that will be sort of a ladder job because um, I don't think we are moving that so yeah I'll figure out a way there I'll probably pop ladders down there up to there I'll be able to scrape sort of probably from there to there um, and then ladders on the outer side of the jacuzzi. We're talking sort of there, if possible. Um, it looks it from here. Up there, just to get that edge. Um, easy enough to clean this roof. I can probably stand on the top of that, maybe, to get that, but I'll see. If not, tower will fit nicely there, going up to there. I can probably reach sort of halfway across at least there. And if there's a bit here, I'll figure it out, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. So we'll, uh, we'll sort that out. So yeah, now because I'm trying to sort of make as many steps as I can to start being a bit safer on these jobs, um, I just thought at the start of each job now, I just sort of take you through my thought process and how I plan to sort of access um, most of these jobs, um, where I'm going to be putting the towers, where I'll be putting ladders, um, yeah, and how I'm going to get to it. But as I say, I messed up a bit on Friday. I should have been a bit quicker getting the tower ordered last Friday. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be here till tomorrow because I thought they'd be open on the weekend, but they're not. So I'll scrape all this bottom stuff today and the backside, try and get all those awkward bits done. So that means tomorrow in the morning when the tower's here, I'll pop that up, um, finish off the sections that I haven't been able to reach um, safely today um, and then get soft washing. So I'm predicting two to three days for this job. If it takes three, I'm happy. I've, I've priced it well for three days. So um, I'm more than happy to really take my time and make sure this job looks amazing. So I'll set this camera up now and um, I'll have a, a quick drink and then um, yeah, get cleaning. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.
Right then folks, this is how I'm going to have to get to this bit. Um, I've just been playing around with a few different angles um, and this is the best. Now I would usually use a standoff there, um, I do have it down there, but because it's at this sort of angle up here, it actually feels better being a bit closer to the, to the wall, just so you can kind of hold on. If you push further out, there's a bit of a gap between you and that roof there, so if you needed to, um, well if I needed to, if I felt a bit dodgy, I could just hold on to the roof and I'd feel a lot safer. Um, I've popped a step up on there because um, it's not nice standing on one rung trying to clean a roof. Um, and I've got these stabilizers on the bottom which just fork out, stop my ladder moving side to side. Same thing, I would usually use a mat on the bottom. I've got a heavy duty one there, but I don't really like using them on grass that much because because it's rubber, when it's wet, it feels like it could get a bit slippy to me on wet grass. So uh, I think my feet are safer there. So yeah, the point I'm trying to make about safety and getting these towers in for these jobs and things, um, you know, not every job is going to be possible from a scaffolding tower. Now, some people will go just because they can't do a certain section from a scaffolding tower, then they'd bring all their rope access stuff, get on the roof, or they'd hire a cherry picker for the entire job. Now, I'm completely comfortable on ladders, and I think the whole point about ladders is use them where you have to um, and use safer alternatives, you know, for the majority of the jobs. So if there's a small section like this, if you can comfortably get that safely off a pair of ladders, that's great. But as long as for the majority of the rest of the job, using a safer method I think it's fine um, as far as I used to be doing like entire jobs from ladders and I was always fine with it to be honest with you I always was but it's not something that I can be here sort of teaching other people because not everyone's as confident as I am and um, I had a good chat with um, Mr Cloak the other day and he said because people see me doing it they might think oh yeah I can do it first job they'll fall down and break their neck and that's not what I want, what I want to happen obviously so um, like I say, I will still have to get the ladders out from time to time, just like in a few places on this job. Um, but especially for clean, it's mainly for soft washing for me, to be honest, when I start putting the biocide on the roof, doing that off ladders um, really isn't fun because you end up being sort of face to face with the chemical because you've got to scrub the tiles that are right below you and you're, you're right there next to it. And all it takes is a, a slip or if your mask isn't fitted properly and you're breathing it in. Um, yeah, it's not ideal. So soft washing mainly for me off a tower is a game changer. I feel so much safer and so much um, more comfortable doing it that way. Um, but like I say, for little sections here and there, um, I'm happy to get the ladders out, but I would highly recommend getting the towers in for your jobs um, instead of doing them all off ladders like I used to. All right, so there you go, folks. Quick as that, that was about 10 minutes. I was up here, just getting the bulk off there. Um, all the rest of this, I can pretty much reach off a tower uh, which is good. I've uh, just cleared the guttering out there as well. Um, yeah, I'm half tempted just to blast this out up here as well, but um, before tomorrow, but I might just uh, focus on getting the back side of this garage done today um, and that little bit round the back that I was on about. So um, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to um, record the other side of this because, as, as you saw, the gap is very small. Um, but I'll try my best, but if not, I'll check back in with you when I've completed that side. Alright then folks, this side is, uh, well this garage part and the lower part is done. Now the ladders fit just there, like literally by the skin of the teeth on that gutter line, so that's good news for me. I don't know if you can see from there, I'll try and get an angle for you. Yeah, it's pretty bad that one is, but I'll see what I can do there. I'm just glad the ladders fit. So yeah, I don't know, this might be, today's part of the video anyway, might just be uh, a lot of me talking. Yeah, a lot of me talking and just going through my uh, processes and stuff. And then most of tomorrow, um, when I'm finishing off and uh, setting the scaffolding up and stuff, I'll probably just time lapse a lot of it. So if the first half of the video is dragging on a bit. I'm sorry. It's just because there's so many little awkward bits to do today. Um, it's just, I just thought I'd talk my way through it um, just so everyone knows sort of how I think when I'm on the job. Um, I've just got to go and quote a neighbour now as well, which is nice because she spotted me doing it and said, it looks good, so that's brilliant. Right then, I'll um, set the ladders up in a minute and get to that part, and then I should be around the back then um, and doing some of the ladder sections on that. Peace. All right then, folks, this is what we're working with here. It's a, it's a long way up. Um, if I could figure out a better way to do this than I would, but you know, with all this here, there's not really anything I can do. I can't, I cannot get the tower there tomorrow. 
So yeah, ladders is my only choice. They're actually on the tiles there, which is not ideal, but it's too wonky if they're below it. Now I've triple checked the tiles. They are not going anywhere. They're really bolted on. Um, but if I had my ladders below that, um, because the, the, the ground is a bit uneven at the bottom, they just wobble um, and it's less safe. So that's as safe as I can make it. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Right then folks, I, uh, I think I forgot to press the record button um, while I was up here doing this, which is a shame. Um, but this roof is all scraped anyway. And um, there's actually a little bit, I don't know if you can see, a tiny bit up there um, that I just can't reach. It's only sort of a few um, little spots of moss. Um, but I'm hoping when I brush the biocide in, um, obviously because I can rest, rest the brush on the tiles, I can actually reach a bit further without my skinny little arms struggling. Um, so I'm hoping I can just brush it down as I'm biosiding, um, so that's fine. But all of this is scraped, all of that's scraped, everything is completely done. Now I do have a little bit to do on the other side of here, um, so I'm going to go and do that now. Then clear out the guttering, um, prepare the downpipes down the bottom for soft washing. So those ones that are going into the drains, they're going to get blocked up. Um, these ones here, they just run into that one. Um, there's no other downpipe, that's the main one down there. So um, yeah, so I'll block that one off, or if I can pop it off at the bottom I will and catch the runoff, but if not I'll just block it at the top and then clean it out um, after I finish soft washing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll finish off that bit at the back now and then um, yeah, start preparing everything and I'll probably have a quick tidy up as well. Sources.
All right then folks, I'll just give all the uh, cuts and fascias a quick once over as well. Um, just tidy up a bit. Obviously I can't do any of this yet because this is all in the way, but once I've biosided it, um, I'll be give it a gentle sort of go over, or if not, save me spraying any water on the roof. I'll come back and blast this bit out um, when I go and do that house. Um, right, what was I gonna say? Yeah, when I was doing them fascias then, I've just got, I used it as an opportunity to use this new brush I've got. I can't remember if it's a Phoenix or a Phantom or something, but it's got four pencil jets on it. Um, which now I wouldn't recommend using a Renegade for guttering and fascias, but I would recommend this brush. It's brilliant compared to the Unger one I was using. Uh, this is a really good brush, so I'm hoping it performs the same on the roof as well. Um, time is two o'clock, so it's possible I may finish today. Um, I'm going to get all this done anyway, so I can take this tower down, um, pop it to the side ready for the guys to come and collect it tomorrow. Um, yeah, and just see what I can get done. So either way, it's going to be raining on uh, tomorrow. So if I don't get it all done today, I'm going to have to come back Thursday when I'm going to start that one. Um, quickly finish this one off and then begin that one. So um, either way, I don't mind. All right, I'll uh, get going. All right then folks, got uh, red mask marks all over my face again, uh, all done. Uh, it's everything completed apart from the little bits of gutter in here that I'm just going to uh, clean when I come back in two days. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a bit of uh, inventory, inventory check now. Uh, something I highly recommend, any towels or anything you've used to plug up any of the gutter in um, to stop the bisod going down it. Um, gloves, everything that you've sort of used. Um, I mean, apart from the clothes on your back sort of thing. Um, but these will go straight in the wash as soon as they get home. Pop them in a bag, just in case, because if they've still got chemical on it, and you pick them up for getting it, and you put your hand in your mouth, or you scratch your eye or something after you've touched it, then, yeah, you might get um, a bit of a nasty surprise. So I'd recommend, so I'd recommend just having, like, a bag. Uh, just keep your stuff in it that might be a bit contaminated. Um, right, so I'll uh, take the scaffolding down now. Um, and, yeah, I'm all done. So I'll see you very soon with, an with another video, probably in a few days, I'd say. Uh, about three days maybe um so i hope you've enjoyed um if you have leave a like press the subscribe button leave a comment if there's anything you want to find out 
uh, and I'll see you very soon. I'll uh, end it with me taking this beast down. Right, peace. Thanks for watching.